we're gonna talk about defund the police. I have a great guest, uh, Mr. Terrence Woodbury, uh, analyst at Brilliant Corners Research and Strategies, a data man, a man after my own heart. Terrence, how are you, sir? All right, let's get y'all from you. So good to be here, Dr. Richie. Correction, I am a partner at Hitch Strategies now. Hitch Strategies is where we are conducting polling and where we have some very fascinating new polling about defund the police and attitudes towards our police and race. Well, awesome, congratulations on the new assignment, brother. So let's get into the data because naturally you hear a lot of conservatives and I've debated them right here on the program. They are anti defund the police because they think it means to eliminate eliminate policing um, altogether. You know the stats, roughly 95, 96% of Americans believe police reform needs to happen. 58% believe it, it needs to be dramatic. Even 51% of Republicans believe that police reform needs to take place in the United States of America. So let's talk about what movement you're seeing in the movement for defund the police. That's right, Dr. Richie. According to our latest data from Black Track, uh, for the first time, we see a majority of Black voters, 53% of Black voters, saying that they agree that the police should be defunded. 67% say that they agree that uh, that that we should redirect funds from police to invest in social services and community building. This mm-hmm. reflects a real trend, not just amongst Black voters. But amongst Democratic voters who have become more ubiquitous in their attitudes about race, attitudes about policing, and their demands for police reform. Let's go to what defund the police actually means. There was an intentional misrepresentation of defund the police primarily on those on the right. But it did influence those that were in the middle. To think defund the police meant something that it did not mean. Defund the police means exactly what you just said. It means to reimagine and reprioritize the policing budget to address the underlying issues of criminality. That helps the police. When you build communities, you help the police. When you connect common sense policies to have a better neighborhood, that helps the police. So tell me where do you think people lost the messaging dynamic of defund the police. You know, frankly, Dr. Richie, this is a this is a challenge and an opportunity for democratic candidates up and down the ballot. You know, uh, this is a rhetorical trap. This idea of of uh, do you uh, agree or oppose defund? It's a rhetorical trap. And instead of mm. Democrats declaring blanket opposition for defund, they have an opportunity to start declaring their support for policies that are in fact uh, uh, popular on both sides um, that it, that make communities safer. And most important, Dr. Rich, and this is where I've been really really concerned: policies that will that will prevent Democrats from oppositioning the most loyal activists in this Mm. party. You know, when Republicans look at their most loyal activists, pro-life activists, pro-gun activists, those are not the fringes of the Republican Party. They are the lifeblood of the Republican Party. And Democrats have an opportunity here to enlist these activists, the activists that we saw during the summer of unrest uh, last year uh, following George Floyd's death. Where we saw the complexion of those protests change. Yeah. We saw the majority of those protesters were white. And we saw this thing, Dr. Richie, that we started to classify last summer. We saw the movement evolve from a movement of black people versus the police to a movement of young people versus racism. And that is where we see a lot of this energy happening. And that and that poses an opportunity for for progressive candidates up and down the ballot to really begin championing these issues to stop running from defund, putting our head in the sand and pretending like it's not there. Republicans are going to make this a key issue, but we are on, but 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 the, but the progressive candidates are on the right side of that issue. And now they have an opportunity to be to begin messaging that. They're on the right side of the issue and I actually agree with the messaging. Um, and I've defended the messaging defund the police uh, since it started because number one, Uh, It got us talking about it. If we would have still been calling it police reform, nobody would have been talking about that. Not in the circles that we talk about it now, and it would not have had the same spotlight as it does today. Defund the police got you to stop, pause, think and talk. That's what it did. It achieved its purpose. But I do believe that many Democrats, especially corporate Democrats, they ran away from it. 
They ran away from it because they allow conservatives to do what they do very well, which is to message something antithetical to its actual meaning. They did it with Obamacare. Well, damn it, I was happy that Obamacare. I don't understand why that is an issue, but we can't run away from the branding of it when the branding is the reason why people are talking about it in a different light. That's it. That's exactly right, Dr. Richie. And 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 you know, it really does. It's 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 presenting this this false choice, this idea that either we want public safety or we want police reform. You know, when we talk to black voters in focus groups. I talked to a young black man in a focus group in Florida just a week ago, who said, "We want you to stop. We want we want you to stop us from getting killed, and we want you to stop killing us. That's Why right. is that so hard? Mm. This forced choice." That it is either safety from crime or safety from police is one that black voters are rejecting, and 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 one that Democratic voters more broadly um, are, are are beginning to see right through and, and and reject. And the tactic is called framing the debate. They tell you you can either believe this or believe that. You can either do this or do that. It's framing the debate, and I'm glad that people like you, brother are telling the masses don't fall for the okie doke. How can folks follow you, man, and follow your work? Please find our latest black track here at hitstrat.com. We are Hit Strategies. Our, our website is hitstrat.com. You can go there and see all the latest data from black track here and from the and from the last year of black tracks that we've been collecting. You're doing great work, brother. I appreciate you, man. You always have an opportunity here on Indisputable. Thank you so much.